I'd rather go. <laughs> Jamie Richardson star of Netflix is one day, and the gentleman and Disney Plus is upcoming Renegade now joins us now. Good I mean, morning. What Good a, morning. What a start to the year. I mean, you couldn't yeah. pack any more in, could you? Yeah, but the funny thing is, it was it was like years. It was a couple of years' work that just all came up at the same time. They're like buses, these massive hit <laughs> shows, aren't they? You wait for years to one come. They'll get three at the same time. Let's start with One Day, Johnny, One Day, yeah. which yes. has just been extraordinary. Obviously yeah. much anticipated because of the because success of the book. Of the book. Yeah. Did you know yeah. the book before? I did know the book and I'd seen the film, but I somehow thought it would work best as a series. I mean, I'm just a tiny part of it and it was just really fun. Leo, as we were just saying, yes. Leo and Ambika are just stupendous. And I thought that one would be a hit because it's a love story. And, you know, we all love love stories. Yeah. There's always that concern, though, isn't it, where you take a much beloved work of art, which was a book beforehand, yeah. and then turn it into something else that people might Definitely. feel like perhaps it hasn't been sort of hasn't been delivered on. But yeah, the, there's the, a lot of expectations. Yeah, the response yeah. to it must yeah. have been extraordinary. Yeah. I think because Leo and Ambika are just so fresh, and then our episode was really fun because it was comedic. Yes. And, and, and ridiculous. And now I get all these texts saying, you know, are you there, Moriarty? And <laughs> Moriarty, where are you? And uh, it, it's lovely that that's become a catchphrase. It's so great. And then the new series, The Gentleman, it was actually, it was actually Ben that turned me on to it. He's like, Dealey, yeah. Dealey, you have to watch this. Just sit it's down, amazing. find some time. Yeah. It's so it's It's right up my sweet, my, my sweet my spot. Sweet spot just in terms of, it hits Street. so many. <laughs> Street right up, yeah. It hits so many of the things for me. For anybody who hasn't seen it yet, Jolie, just explain a little bit about Oh, my goodness. Uh, can, can you not explain? Well, it's, it's Guy Ritchie, um, and, and it's a crazy, gangster. I always say it's Downton Abbey, Peaky Blinders, in a blender, the gentleman. <laughs> yes. That feels like a really good description, yeah, to be honest. It's simple, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But it was so funny as well. The yeah. writing, I mean, it's yeah. very stylized. The characters are amazing. Oh, it is yeah, a little exactly. bit violent and it's got that edge it's to it. It's edgy, it's also glamorous, it's ridiculous. And it's also about family and that's one thing we can all relate to. And dysfunctional family members, etc. Yeah. And you saw a little, it was a, there, people are watching a little bit of Vinnie Jones pops up in it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's Vinnie. been in a number of guys' films over yes. the years, hasn't yes, it? Yes. What was it like a... working with Vinny? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny because we couldn't have been more opposite because I love to rehearse and like get my feet and yeah. know what I'm doing and Vinny's like, all right, come on, lunch, <laughs> let's go, I want to get home. Like we were saying, he likes his farm, you know? Yeah. He, he just farm. wanted to be out there, but I think he's pretending a little bit because I think he actually is really into it. He's so good in it. He's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. I think it's the best thing he's... And then tell us a little bit about the new series that's coming on Disney Plus, Renegade Now. It's set Thank in 1705. Well done. I've yes, been watching it, century. and it's it, the the lead character is a woman who is a highway woman, highway woman, and she's got special powers. Uh -huh. It is. It's sophisticated, it's intelligent, it looks super expensive, the special effects are amazing. Yes. Well, because you've got Sally Wayne, right, the writer, yes. who's sort of goddess of, of television. Happy Valley and Happy yes. Valley. Yes. Exactly. And then you've got the production values of Disney. And then, like you said, at our centre, we've got this kick-ass, amazing actress, Louisa Harland, who, who's just perfect. This great cast of characters, like The Gentleman. Everyone's very delineated, it's very funny, yeah. it's moving, because it's also about family, yeah. and, yeah, and magic. And then these incredible costumes. Well, I was about to say, yeah. you, though, however, seem to play these pearls of a role <laughs> within each one that are, like, fun. They're a bit out there, a bit yeah, silly. A bit There's loads there, of costumes. Well, the thing is, I think, you know, when you, when you, when you get a bit older, you know, you, you get, a, in my case, you get sort of smaller particular parts and what I love is is characters yeah so I really like to find a character so the voice where the voice placement is mm -hmm. and then you know the look of the character so like, even though those three characters you showed they're all a bit posh but they're actually quite different mm. each one and that that's my joy and my my fun with the work. costume in Renegade now, now no. though, there was yeah. that like that was there was quite some construction to get into it major <laughs> construction 
Tom Pye, a brilliant costume designer, and Jill Sweeney, who did these extraordinary, like you see in that picture. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I'm really tall anyway, I'm sort of almost 5'10", and with that, it was like another foot and a half <laughs> on top of my head. Um, yeah, corsets, padding, it, it was a production. I mean, I needed uh, someone else, and I did. Lovely Annie Kanani, who sort of helped me carry the whole thing. So we were uh, a two person job to, to, to manage Just to get into costumes. it and to get the costumes yeah. round. And wasn't it shot on the hottest day of the year as well? As we the... did <laughs> film it during the heat wave. And as <laughs> I say imagine. to the Americans, we have no air conditioning no. in England. So, yeah, yeah, well, that we don't was part of the really, endurance. Do we? That's the thing. But then again, when you get to wear, like, these extraordinary things mm. that I'd go for that any day and just kind of manage, they, they have cooling pads that they put on you and, you know, lots of fans and... Yeah. Uh, Jolie, I was... I was fascinated to read that a, a, a while back you were questioning your place in the industry that you felt a little... <laughs> aren't we all well I guess, I guess but your the success yeah. and the and the and the range of jobs you've done yeah. and and the experience that you've got even even where you are you were questioning where you were going to sit well no forward. it was that my agent that i'd worked with for many years she retired young to be with her mum and uh, so i went to get an, another agent and it was like no one wanted me. Wow. Yeah. And uh, so even though I'd had like Golden Globe nominations and blah, yeah. blah, blah, zero people wanted a woman over 50. Wow, that's so something. you were like, yeah. So then what we did, you know, my new agent, Sue Latimer, we've been together a few years now, we just started finding little inns wherever we could, you know, doing Sandman, all sorts of Netflix, mm. Lady Chatterley playing the Northern housekeeper, Mrs. Bolton, just like trying to sort of get through the door so people would consider me for roles. And then they started to come, but... Uh, yeah. Because so you lucky. also took a moment to go into... You were concentrating on theatre for a little yeah, while. Yeah, well, I think after the Nip Tuck years, I, I just felt... I just wanted to do something else. I mean, yeah. Nip Tuck was a dream job, mm. but um, my sister's boys were in America and, and there were, I did lots of off-Broadway productions. And so it was like going back to my roots. It was really fun. Yeah. And, and I needed that. It, it was like a lovely bridge. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, we're thrilled that it's going so well. There's a big birthday coming up, isn't there? No, next year. <laughs> Why is everyone like oh, no, no. But, it, but, but I they was are 59 moments. in January. We've got yeah, so, most so... of another year before I get to <laughs> next January. And shall we I'll come back and let's talk about it then? Well, no, no, no. But I'm in June. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in June. Because I'm 50 no. in December, so everyone keeps going, you've got a big birthday coming up. Okay. So I've got a whole no, year I being know. 49 first. I know. That so I'm... enjoy 49. And what I say about 50 is 50 is like a thing to get your head round. But the minute you're over that day, you'll settle into it and you'll realise you're free. That's what the last third, I call it, of my life is about. It's about being free. Being yeah. free. Yeah. No, less worried about what yeah. people think of you, what should I be doing, what is success. You just get to be you. Mm. Do you think there'll be another gentleman? Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. No, we, we love it. Can we so. petition for it? Yes. Can we, yeah, right can we, anyone yeah. watching, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All of those shows, if you haven't had a chance to look at them, are well worth it. Renegade Nail is launching... 29th of March. 29th, 29th of Friday. March. Friday, 20th Premier March. tonight. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Jolie, it's so lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you for coming Thank in. You. And we'll Happy see you birthday yes, for you. next year. <laughs> next year, yes. Yes, yes. And you can come in and we can celebrate <laughs> okay, together. OK, well, <laughs> thank you, Jamie. Decade older, brilliant. <laughs>